Hello guys, I welcome you all to Ingenious Academy. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the surface area of the curve. Do not include the area of the ends in the calculation. So this end, the area of this end and the area of that end will not be considered, right? So again, we will use the first theorem of Pappas and Goldenus, which says that the if we revolve a line segment for an angle, so that will generate a surface, right? So since we have this cross section and we have various line segments, so this is line segment one, or we can say this is the edge of this cross section area. So this is, let's say, edge one. This is line segment two, line segment three, line segment four, and line segment five. So if we rotate this particular line segment, for an angle of 30 degree about an axis which is perpendicular to the surface like this is that axis is about which we are rotating these line segments so they will make if, if we rotate this line segment so it will make this surface similarly this slant edge will make this surface similarly this one will make this surface and this one will make the big surface and similarly this will make the down uh, surface or the bottom of the surface so we need to calculate all those surfaces. So according to the theorems of Pappas and Goldenus, that is the first theorem that says that the area, the surface area will be equal to theta for which the line segments are revolved multiplied by the summation of R tilde times the length of each segment. So we have to uh, find the length of each segment and then we have to find the location of the centroid of each segment, line segment from the axis of revolution. So that is R tilde. So for that, we will construct a table, right? So we will write the line segment number. So see, this is line segment number. So we have, let's say this is line segment one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five line segments. So we'll write one, two, three, four, and five. Then we will find the length of each segment and the units will be in meters. Similarly, we will find the location of the centroid of each line segment. Again, the units will be in meters. Then we will take the product of both of these. So that will be R tilde times L. And then we will add up the product of the products of all each of these line segments. And then we will find the sum. So now the length of segment one let's say this is my segment one so its length is uh, 150 mm so in meters it will be 150 divided by 1000 so 150 divided by 1000 is 0 0.15 meters right so length is length of line segment one is 0 0.15 meters and its centroid will be at its midpoint and the distance of this centroid from this axis of revolution will be four meters right so this distance is given, this is from here to here, this distance is 4 meters. So the perpendicular distance of the midpoint, the centroid of this line segment from that axis is, is 4 meters. So we will write this as 4. Similarly, uh, let me draw these lines first. So the, this is our table, right? And this is 4. Let me write it in black. Now the line segment 2, this is our line segment 2, so its length is again 150, so that is 0 0.15 and its centroid will be again at its midpoint. So until this edge, the distance is 4 meters and then this distance will be the half of this 150 mm and 150 divided by 2 is 75, uh, 75 mm and 75 divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.075. So this distance is 0 0.075 in meters. So the distance of this centroid from that axis is, will be from here to here. And that will be 4 meters plus that 0 0.075. So 4 plus 0 0.075. So this will give us 4.075 in meters. Similarly, this slant edge is our line segment 3. And again, its centroid will be at its midpoint. And this length, we can find this length by using the Pythagoras theorem. So by using the Pythagoras theorem, we know that this length is 150 and this height is 100. 
So the length of this line segment will be uh, 150 mm. So in meters, this is 0 0.15 square and 100 mm in meters is 0 0.1. 100 divided by 1000 is 0 0.1. This is 0 0.1 square. So this will give us the area. So this is uh, 0 0.15 square plus 0 0.1 square. This gives us the, uh, the length of that line segment, which is 0 0.180. So this is 0 0.18 in meters, the length of this slant line segment. And its centroid is at a distance of this 4 meters plus this. So this is 150, 150 mm is 0 0.15. So this is 4 plus 0 0.15, so that is 4.15 and then this distance, this straight distance. So if this is 150, then this will be the half of that 150. So 150 mm in meters is 0 0.15 and 0 0.15 divided by 2 is 0 0.075. So the centroid of this slanted line segment from that axis of revolution is 4 plus 4 uh, plus 0.15 plus this. So let me write that this is 4 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.075. So if we add up this is 4 plus 0 0.15 plus 0 0.075. This gives us 4.225. So that is 4.225, 4.225 meters. So the centroid of this slant line segment or edge is at a distance of 4.225 from that axis of revolution, right? So this is the perpendicular distance of the centroid of this slant line segment from that axis of revolution which is 4.225 so this is the r tilde for this particular line segment this is 4.225 now we will consider uh, this third uh, fourth line segment its length is 150 plus 100 so that is 250 mm and 250 mm divided by 1000 so that will give us uh, 0 0.25 meters this is 0, 0 0.25 meters and its centroid will be at its uh, midpoint and the distance of this centroid from that uh, axis of revolution is 4 meters plus 150 plus 150. So this is 300 mm and 300 mm in meters is 0 0.3 uh, meters. So this is 4 plus 0 0.3 so that is 4.3 meters. And now the last segment, the centroid of the last segment will be somewhere here and it's the length of this is 300 mm so 300 mm in meters is 0 0.3 and the centroid is at a distance of 4 plus 150 mm or we can say that it is 4 plus 0 0.15 so that is 4.15 meters now we will take the product of this this is 4 into 0 0.15 the product of both of these then the product of both of these that is 4.075 into 0 0.15 then this 4.225 multiplied by 0 0.18 then the product of this, this is 4.3 into 0 0.25 and then 4.15 into 0 0.3 so when we add up this, this is equal to the summation of r tilde times l so we will add up the product of r tilde times l of each and every segment so that will give us this sum so let's find that that is 4 into 0 0.15 plus 4.075 into 0 0.15 uh, plus 4.225 into 0 0.18 plus 4.3 into 0 0.25 plus 4.15 into 0 0.3. So this gives us 4.292. This is 4.292 and the units of this is meter, this is meter, so the unit of this will be meter square. So this is meter square. Now we have to use this equation. So according to that equation, area is equal to theta. Now theta is 30 degrees. So we have to convert this into radians. So as we know that 360 degrees is always equal to 2 pi radians. So this will be converted into radians and then we have to multiply it with that sum value. That sum value is 4.292. So that is 
nine two. We will take this product. That is thirty multiply by two five multiply by four point two nine two divided by three sixty. So this will give us the surface area which is generated by revolving all these five segments. That is two point two four seven area generated by revolving these uh, five line segments for an angle of 30 degrees is 2.247 and this will be meter square. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do let me know in the comments if, if this efforts helps you in your learning. Also subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet.